Hi, Glenn Hughes here from EMF Protection. First of all, let me apologise. This is quite uh, amateur, even by my standards, which are not overly known for being professional when it comes to production. This is an amateur video, but it's what it shows that is exciting. So this is the first ever, for us anyway, um, demonstration of the FM5 uh, measuring a millimetre wave. So let me just take you through the kit. So here we have our DC uh, power supply, which is needed for this piece of kit here, which is actually a motion sensor that you would um, typically see on the doors of a supermarket, say for example, or you know somewhere with automatic doors as you walk to them. This is a, one of the motion sensors that would uh, sense your presence and send a signal to the doors to open. But interestingly, uh, during the development for the FM5, our partners discovered that it uses a signal of 24.12 or something like that um, gigahertz. So just on the uh, peripheries, just inside the peripheries of the, of the FM5 millimeter wave 5G monitor, uh, we've also got the uh, acoustic meter and a Safe and Sound Probe 2. And we've got a little brother from the Safe and Sound. I'm not, probably not going to bother with that. I'll just get rid of that. I've got enough evidence here without uh, getting that involved in the experiment. So when I switch this on, which I'll do just now. Sorry, it's really amateur this, isn't it? But you'll get the important bit in a minute. So I'm just going to switch that on. And then you see the light come on for the... Uh, motion sensor. Let's switch that off again because I don't particularly want to be microwave with 24 gig for too long. Um, maybe I should put one of my EMF clothing hoodies on. Who knows? So um, let's just move these two monitors out of the way and switch on the acoustic meter. So in our environment we'll see that um, you know, there's nothing much going on here. We're uh, pretty, really pre pretty electrically clean. And there's the motion center switched off. So now I'm just gonna switch it on. And you can see that it's switched on, but the acoustic meter makes no difference whatsoever. Switch it off again. Move the acoustic meter out of the way. Put in the safe and sound. Switch that on, take the other way around this time. Um, and you see nothing happening there. And now, switch that on. You see the blue light come on the motion, to, motion center sensor, rather. And the safety sound is picking up a little bit of something. But then I think that's just its normal. So if we switch that off, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same. So a little bit more sensitive than the um, uh, the acoustic meter, but it's not actually reading anything from the um, 24 gig microwave generator we've employed here. So I'll switch that on again. There you go. And it doesn't really change very much. Still um, uh, it's reading 0.67 hour. It's a peak. The average, not doing anything. Okay, switch it off, doesn't change very much. So that's not really paying any attention whatsoever to the 24 gig. Uh, we will bring a little one in uh, just to confirm. So there's a little safe and sound 200 meg to 8 gigahertz, so you wouldn't expect it to pick 24 up. Switch it on. There's the blue light, it tells you it's working. Switch it off. You see the blue light go off. Nothing much changes. In fact, nothing at all changes. And now we'll bring in the FM5. Switch it on. Okay. And we have it already set up because this isn't a video about how to use the FM5 of course 
is whether we get a change when we switch on the 24 gig microwave generator. So that's the base reading for the higher frequency module, the millimeter wave uh, frequency module. It starts um, around 5060. That's your base level. That's um, look on the web for further details of why that's like that. There's nothing to worry about. This means we start uh, a little bit uh, higher than with the normal um, uh, antenna, which we have on board as well with the FM5. So that means there's nothing going on. Okay, and if you look, the generator is no blue light, it means it's not, not switched on. So, switch it on. And there you go, see the blue light, it's powered away. And that's what you're happening, that's what's happening. Those are the, the readings. 43,373 microwatts as the maximum, and kicking about around 30,000 microwatts um, uh, as an average. Move the FM5 out of the way, working, working the thingy. Give it a chance to warm up, and you can see your normal monitor, safe and sound, great monitor, but can't read the millimetre wave. Bring in the acoustometer. Always like the acoustometer, prefer the safe and sound now. But absolutely nothing happening. Does not know that even though it's just an inch or so away from 24 gig, the acoustometer hasn't got a clue. Switch it off. Nothing changes. So there you go. That's the uh, the first demonstration. Sorry, it was so amateurish. I had to hold um, the camera with one hand and the uh, the bits and pieces with the other hand, just to show you now the um, uh, the generator switched off. That the you know the the average has gone back down to the thirties to show you nothing's going on on the. Uh, FM5 and that still got the uh, maximum there. I'll just clear that for you. Uh, so take that back to its um, base level. Do it again. Why not? Let's do it again for fun. Makes the video a bit long, but I'm enjoying myself. Switch it on. And there she goes again. Closer you get. There we go. Push it off again. Back to the base level. Now. Just got to clear the maximum. There you go. The FM5 reading the millimeter wave.